When you use Microsoft OneDrive for the first time, you notice that OneDrive behaves in a certain way. But if you want to change those behavior, then you can change out OneDrive settings as well. So over here, I am in the web interface of OneDrive. And if I want to access out and change the settings, then over here on the top right hand side, you can see the gear icon right here. If you were to go around and click right here, you can see that you have access to options. If you were to go around and click on options, then this is what you see right here. So over here, uh, you can see that the first option that you can manage is the overall storage. So you can see that 0.3 gigabytes is used out of the total 5 gigabytes of storage right here. That is because this is the free version of OneDrive. And if I were to go around over here in plan and upgrades, then you have access to the upgrade option right here. And depending on the uh, file storage that you need, you can upgrade to a premium plan as well. You have access to um, other um, uh, file format options as well, where you can decide the default Office file formats that is related to Microsoft Office or an open source document format as well. Let me just go around uh, and press cancel right here to go back right here. And as we progress along, we're going to explore out the different settings as well. Besides that, you have access to your personal vault as well, which is a way of securing your important files. And you have access to uh, photo settings over here and notification settings over here, as you can see right here. Similarly, you can go around and see that you have option for device backups as well. Over here, it gives you for uh, device backups uh, using OneDrive as well to back up your file safely. And you can also go around and restore out your OneDrive by using the restore option as you can see right here. So this is what you have. Let me just get out of the full screen and get back over here uh, to get back to the settings. And over here at the end, you got the search option right here, which allows you to turn the search history on or off. So we are going to go around and explore out all of these as we progress along the course. But that is where you're supposed to go if you want to change the way how OneDrive behaves. And that is how you can go around and then explore out OneDrive web settings um, and then see, uh, um, uh, see like which settings does what to get familiar with OneDrive. And uh, if OneDrive behaves in a different way, you, you know that this is where to look. So I uh, hope you guys uh, learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.